On occasion, slave-owning mothers and daughters disciplined enslaved people together. When Henrietta King was about eight or nine years old, she was responsible for emptying her owner's chamber pots. When she went to collect the pot in her mistress's room each morning, she noticed that a piece of candy would be left on the washstand. She knew that her mistress had left it there as a test to see whether she would take it, and at first she resisted. But after several days, King yielded to temptation. Her mistress, King claimed, kept the people who labored in her home in a state of near starvation. King's mistress noticed that the candy was gone and questioned her. When she denied stealing the candy, her mistress began to whip her. King refused to remain still, so her mistress grabbed her by the legs and pinned her head under the rocker of her chair while her young daughter whipped her. For approximately an hour, averred King, her mistress rocked back and forth on her head while her daughter beat her with a cowhide. The constant pressure from the rocking chair crushed the bones in the left side of King's jaw. After the beating, she could not open her mouth, and the left side constantly slid sideways to the right. Her mistress called a doctor, but after examining her, he determined that nothing could be done. Her face was irreparably mutilated. Her mistress never brutalized King again, but her disfigurement was disquieting, and the mistress was so disturbed by it that the family decided to give King to a female cousin who King claimed treated her kindly. This one act of brutality affected the rest of Henrietta King's life. She could not chew, so she was forced to consume liquid, stews, and soup. The teeth on the left side of her face never grew back. When children saw her disfigured face, they either laughed or cried. Adults would stare at her, wondering what devil got in and made me born this way. King also had to contend with encounters with her mistress's children and grandchildren who apparently knew what happened. On one occasion, when King crossed paths with her former mistress's granddaughter in town, she got the feeling that the young woman was so ashamed that she crossed the street and pretended that she did not see her. It's clear that this event affected the rest of King's life 